Every morning, half a million care workers set out to look after the elderly and the vulnerable in their own homes. But the companies delivering state-funded care say the business of delivering good home care like Hello. this is under threat. All right, Margaret. Yes, thank you, Mel. Yeah, yeah. Cup of tea? Yes, please. Yeah. Margaret is a widow, and Mel right. is her lifeline. What are the sort of things that you depend on them? Well, they come in the morning and wash me and get me out of bed. And then dinner time for me dinner. And then tea time, they come back and do me a cup of tea and make me a sandwich or something. Then night time, bed. But with local authority cuts, rising costs and an ageing population, insiders are warning the system's at breaking point. It's always been a tough emotional um, sector for people. But I think I've never seen such widespread um, fear and anxiety. This company chief executive says that it's increasingly hard for her to take on new contracts because the hourly rates offered by local authorities are now often too low. So we didn't go for that one because of the rates, quite simple. But you couldn't make um, any money out of it. So that's so this, unsustainable, £12.50. Yeah, this authority is saying the maximum they will pay for social care is £12.80. We couldn't, not only could we not make any money out of it, but we would have trouble providing the service for it. Our survey reveals that companies are also giving back existing work they can no longer afford to do. Thousands of hours of state-funded care are at risk. What we're going to see is a growing divide between great care for those people who can afford to pay privately and poor care or nothing at all for those people who can't afford it. Working conditions in some companies are already tough. These whistleblowers were concerned about losing their jobs, so we've protected their identities. There were times where the quality of care was not at the level that I was happy to give. The travel time's awful. On some days, um, I was earning about £2.50 an hour. Over the space of five months, 68 different care workers visited her. This poor old lady was forced to sit in a wet pad for the whole entire day. Union bosses say there are risks standards will fall further. Many good providers are moving away because of the funding regime. And we are getting cowboys coming in who are making the situation worse. And stepping in to look after the elderly when there are problems arranging home care cost the NHS £80 million last year. As more and more people want and need dignity and care in their own homes, Industry insiders are warning that the system is in danger of falling apart. Penny Marshall, ITV News.